What if Apple is not late to the AI race, but about to flip it? This week, OpenAI rolled out a system where apps run inside ChatGPT. Some are calling it the future of everything. But here is the part most people are missing. Apple already controls the hardware, the OS, and 1.5 billion iPhones. That is a massive advantage. Before we keep going, like this video, subscribe, and comment to help more people find it. Right now, using apps through ChatGPT means typing prompts, naming the app, waiting, and hoping it understands. It is powerful, but it still feels like work. And switching between apps is awkward. Apple's plan is different. They are not killing apps. They are killing the need to hunt for apps. Apple wants you to just ask Siri. The actions you need will be built directly into your existing apps. No extra installs. No new interfaces. No new learning curve. And developers get automatic upgrades through frameworks they already use. This is why Apple could still win. Siri today might be a joke, but the new version is already being tested. Bloomberg says it works across apps like Uber, Amazon, WhatsApp, and YouTube, and it is still on track for release next year. If Apple gets this right, the iPhone stays the command center of daily digital life. And ChatGPT becomes something you use, not something you live in. So no, it is not too late for Apple. The real AI platform battle has barely started, and the winner will be whoever controls everyday habits. Apple already owns those. If this gave you something to think about, like and subscribe, drop a comment with your take, and watch the video in the corner for where AI user experience is headed next. Let's build the future instead of waiting for it.